Hey guys, how you doing? I just finished up doing the uh, stealth camp at Starbucks here in Alliston. And uh, just trying to put things aside. I gotta kind of get home really quick. Cause it's Wednesday, I gotta do my live show. Oh boy. So yeah, I just finished doing my 24 hour stealth camp here in Alliston. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I had a, uh, didn't have any issues sleeping, which was great. It was just cool. Ugh. It's, it was just cool enough. I'm like, I'm waiting for this guy to go by. He goes by and then another person trying to pull out of a parking spot. Uh, and I'm trying to get home. I need to get home. But uh, yeah, it, it wasn't hot at all. And it wasn't cold enough that I needed to move up in my uh, sleeping bag. Uh, into my minus nine sleeping bag. I didn't need that yet. Uh, I, I love my minus nine sleeping bag, but because it's that mummy shaped, uh, I can't bend my legs very much. And if I do have to bend my, bend my legs, I got to do both bend both legs. And I'm one of those people that likes to have one leg straight, the other leg bent with my foot against my leg. And uh, that's just the way I sleep. This morning I, I went for a big walk. Yesterday I went for a big walk and uh, try to burn off some of this food. But after my big walk this morning, uh, I had some time to kill and so I got a lot of the data and video footage off my cards into the computer, transcoded all the footage uh, so that I can start editing it and I actually went through and did a lot of editing. Uh, so which will help uh, tomorrow, because tomorrow's Thursday. I'll probably launch this 24 hour stealth camp video on uh, for Friday because I basically just launched the other one Tuesday. So we'll, you'll see it on Friday. And uh, this is a beautiful town. If you ever like want to cruise around a pretty little town, Allison's definitely one of the coolest towns just north of Toronto. They have these beautiful houses, uh, beautiful little town downtown core with all these old shops and, and uh, old uh, theater down there and well, this is I did a, a video right here at the um, uh, Pizza Hut who can remember what video I did for at Pizza Hut right here in Allison I can't even remember uh, I think it was like maybe one of their spicy pizzas or maybe um, I don't know it's one of those pizzas that they had a limited time offer kind of thing and uh, so I did that there. I did, I've done a lot of videos here actually. And uh, and then this is where I phoned the fire department because there was an, a fire alarm going off in somebody's apartment and it was above a restaurant that is no longer there anymore. So that the restaurant, uh, I can't remember what the name of it was. Uh, I really wanted to do a video there for you guys. and But I don't think they made it through COVID. I think COVID destroyed uh, that restaurant. You know, some restaurants just, they just aren't a type of restaurant that you get a lot of takeout orders. Like um, Paul Paul's restaurant wasn't really, it's not a restaurant that people do a lot of takeout. So, uh, you know, restaurants like uh, Zach's in Bowmanville, you know, a lot of people do takeout. So like, I think they managed uh, to get through COVID. I wouldn't say with no problem, but it was easier for them. Whereas Paul, you know, he relies on the bar part of it. Uh, so this was the place, but now it's um, uh, a real estate agent. So that's where the the 911 video uh, stealth camp. I think I was just hanging out in town, making a, a 24. Whoa! The guy in front of me almost went through a late yellow light, and I got. And luckily, he stopped because the person turned uh, right, uh, I guess left in front of him uh, to our right. And that was a close call. He almost booked it. He didn't want to wait. So it's, again, uh, 3.20 in the afternoon and people are just getting off work. This town is a, um, uh, what's it called? A uh, Honda, they have a huge Honda plant here. So when the Honda plant lets out, this place becomes a zoo. Lots of people trying to get skedaddle home. I think when I when I did a video when I did that video last time I was here for a 24-hour stealth camp and I went for a big bike ride and I went to the plant and there was a lot of bikes there which is good because if you live in a small town like this 
that's it's getting it's growing but you know why drive to work when you can bike I'd bike all the time if I worked at the, at the plant I guess I can also do a little bit of a knee report uh, when I left home yesterday to come here for three uh, I took two uh, Tylenol um, arthritis just in case it is but again I have lots of cartilage left I'm not sure if you can have cartilage and I don't I don't know how arthritis works but uh, I don't I don't know if I have that or not but again my knee's been bugging me for a couple years now uh, I believe last year on our hike I had the same issue so um, every once in a while it pops up and obviously when I use my knee it's funny I don't think it ever bugs me when I ride my bike uh, like uh, it did bug me last year when I rode my bike I remember that too so it bugged me last year on our hike, which was last a year ago, basically. And then it bugged me uh, the first year we did um, the bike ride. So that would have been 2000, what is it now? Three, two, yeah. So 2022, when we went out uh, west to do the bike ride, that uh, on day three, I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish it, but I finished it with my knee, same knee. And then in the fall of 2022, Paul and I did the hike last year uh, with Kathy and Matthew, and my knee was bugging me then too. So again, I think I, I'm I'm thinking it's an injury. Uh, I don't think I'll be getting a knee replacement, but it is possible I might have to get a scope done. So before I got here, I took Tylenol, and it really did help yesterday. Uh, I forgot to bring two more for today. Uh, but I, when I went for my walk, I did a four kilometer walk and my knee, my knee started aching uh, a little bit uh, around the two to three kilometer mark. Uh, and so I'm glad I stopped at four. Today I did six kilometers and uh, it was bugging me for the last two kilometers. Uh, but again, the first little bit, it was, it was kind of fine. But uh, anyway, so again, I'll just keep you updated as much as I can, let you know what's going on, of course. I'm hoping to vlog every day if I can. We're gonna be very busy in the next couple months doing a lot of different things. Uh, there's little trips here and there. We're going to a Buffalo Bills game with Paul and Sonia. So Carol and I are going with Paul and Sonia uh, to a Bills game. And so there's that. So and I gotta like do a bunch of videos really quick to have kind of like a bit of a backlog or a catalog of videos that I can slowly upload. Uh, so, and also it'll help me, you know, I call these my cheat days when I make these videos for you. And then uh, as soon as that is over my cheat day, I try to eat as best as I can uh, so uh, that I can, you know, maintain my body weight or try to lose weight. But again, I was, I ate Starbucks food and, and drinks for the last 24 hours. And uh, although I didn't finish everything, uh, it was still a lot of food and a lot of calories and sugar in those drinks. So I look forward to uh, going back to my other diet where I don't eat that kind of stuff. Uh, I just realized I should probably pop into a store. Uh, I'll probably call Carol just to see if um, she ha if we have any club soda at home because I don't think there's any more. There's one more store coming up. I'll, my, I'll be able to pop in there. So let's grab some uh, club soda and then I gotta really get home as fast as possible uh, to uh, start the live show. So uh, let's get to, so that was Alliston. The next town is called Cookstown and there's definitely a grocery store there that I can grab uh, some club soda. Timmy's F Foodland is it. right past it. I got two. Let's go two. Go for two. <laughs> 1805. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't think 
there's going to be that much money. I haven't bought a case of pop, like Carol does most of the shopping or pretty much all the shopping. Let's just go with that. And uh, when, I, when I saw the price, I'm like, well, it can't be, that can't be mine because pop shouldn't be almost $20 for two cases. But apparently it is $7.99 a case. Let me know if there's a better place to buy pop cans of carbonated soda with no sugar. And it was that much money. Hmm. So this is another very pretty town that I've been wanting to do a uh, stealth camp on a street around here and, and uh, sample a couple of restaurants for you guys. Uh, let me know if you think that was a, something you'd like to see. But you know, there's, there's a bunch of restaurants, bunch of shops. I think there's even ice cream shop somewhere. And uh, see how many cars are coming this way? Jeez, that's the only problem if you live in Alliston. Like this is the only main route to get out and it's only a two lane road, east and west. One lane east, one lane west. And uh, it gets clogged up. A lot of people are starting to live in these towns and the towns are growing and they have the small little road. Anyway, all right guys, I gotta get going. Uh, oh my goodness. I've got uh, woo, 18 minutes to get home, unpack some of this stuff, get the live show set up, do my live show, and then I gotta do a thumbnail picture. I, 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 Carol takes that for me. And uh, wow, got a lot of stuff to do, man. A lot of stuff to do. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.